Lloyds Banking Group is really passionate about supporting women in business. Trailblazing women are fantastic role models for those women coming through the talent pipeline. ICW are sponsoring tonight's event as a key part of our programme to encourage as many women as possible to develop their careers and go forward to the board. It is passionate in its support for diversity and its sponsorship for women into executive posts. So this is a great way of celebrating that and we're proud to be sponsoring this event. Successful female role models are here in abundance this evening and the First Women Awards give great visibility to these talented women. If you see what some of these women have done, it is so inspirational that you can't help but be impressed. And actually it's one way, just one way, that we can help younger women look and say, that's what I can do too. It's fabulous upstairs. There are so many people here and everybody is really, really excited that tonight we're going to be celebrating the tremendous achievements of women. A very warm welcome to the seventh First Women Awards. Alongside the new, the core values of the First Women Awards remain as important and as relevant as ever. We conceived this project to recognize pioneering women whose achievements are also opening up opportunities for others. The influence of the network we've created, I think, grows every year. The CBI have been enthusiastic supporters of the First Women Awards right since they began. As the years have passed, their importance has only increased. I think you can tell at Lloyds Banking Group we are totally passionate about supporting women in business. And we really believe, and I think we do understand the benefits of gender diversity in the workplace. It is something that we do champion within our own organisation. And that's the reason why we've supported these awards for the past six years and also the Asian Women of Achievement Awards and the Inspirational Women's Network. I would like to congratulate everyone once again who are participating here tonight. You all hold the promise for this country's future, a future that's not limited, not a limited base on your gender, but an unlimited base on your potential. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I thank you very much for having me here tonight. Our challenge is to make sure that we're not just smashing ceilings ourselves, but we're also making sure that our daughters and our granddaughters can smash ceilings themselves and we're giving them the confidence, the opportunities and the chances to keep on driving that forward for the future. That's what I know all of you are doing. Please keep doing it as well. The finalists are fantastic role models, incredible business leaders who provide an inspiration to us all. So in closing, let me congratulate everyone who was nominated tonight and all the finalists for the First Woman Awards. Let's get on with the awards. I had a tweet from a gentleman the other day. I was commentating on Federer being knocked out by Songa. Why do you have a right to commentate on tennis? And then I realised it's because she's quite good and knows what she's talking about. Hurrah! Come on! Turn them round, one by one. really excited. It's so amazing to have won this. I think it really builds confidence um, amongst women and you know it's great to just celebrate what they're doing in all of these areas of, um, of business. It's great. The best thing about it is it's, you've got some fabulous women out there that can do very much the same thing so um, I'll be cheering them on as well. I feel absolutely great. It's a real real honour to be uh, part of the awards and, and to win is absolutely fantastic. I won this award for all the women in BT and all the women who are actually in business services. I think it's really important for women to see winners like this and see that you can get the opportunity out there to go and do your thing and actually make a success of your career and, and enjoy it along the way. Mm -hmm.